What's up guys, Godzilla back again. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to set the timing on the RB26. It's pretty simple. Um, you use the cam angle sensor to um, adjust the timing. On the crankshaft um, pulley there's a set of markings. There's I think seven of them. You go from zero all the way to 30 in increments of five. Um, so, base timing is 20 degrees, so we want to put it on the fifth marking because the first one is zero. So, you know, zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, fifth marking. So, you need to make sure your car is at operating temperature, and then you'll loosen these bolts enough so that you can turn the cam angle sensor by hand. I do that before I turn the engine on because I don't want to get my hand shaved by the fan there. And you will need a timing light. I have this one right here. It's made by Innova. Uh, it's a pretty cheap one. Uh, I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description if you want to pick one up. Uh, I appreciate it if you use my link. helps me... Uh, get more stuff for the car and do more videos like this. So anyway, um, it has three connections. It has a negative and a positive to put on your battery to give it power. And then you have this uh, like terminal lead here that you would put around the number one um, cylinder spark plug wire. Um, since we're coil on plug, um, Nissan has designed a little loop in the back of the wiring harness that you can use. Um, if you have an older wiring harness, it may not give you a good signal. I have a wiring, wiring specialties harness, so I, I get a good signal from it, but um, you can also use something like this, which is basically just a, uh, a spark tester. And what you would do is um, you would pop the, the coil off of the spark plug you would put this end onto the plug and then you would put this inline tester on the other end of this cable on one end and then put the other end into the coil and then you would put the um, timing light connector around the plug here and that's how you would get your reading if your uh, loop in the back isn't working So let's uh, Connect to this and see if that works. Negative on the black and positive on the red. So now the light is active and I'm going to start the car. So now we can shine it down on the crank sensor and we see that it's on the sixth mark so it needs to be on the fifth mark so we're going to um, advance the timing so we would let's see if I can do this here. There we go. We're on 
20 degrees. Let me get the camera down here. I don't know if you can see that or not. seven marks on the crankshaft uh, pulley so if you look at it from this angle there you go 20 degrees well now we're got our base timing um, we just tighten these back up so that it doesn't move and you're good to go Well, that's how you uh, set the timing. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, still doing the headlight uh, retrofit, so stay tuned for that video. And still need to do the Hikus removal, uh, install my steering wheel. Uh, I've got some uh, braided steel brake lines to install. <sighs> what else? My Haltech. <laughs> got a bunch of stuff. And uh, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching and. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. See ya.